Hamiltonians who rely on city buses to get around may soon have to find different options as HSR workers have agreed to go on strike. Eric Viano joins us live with more on this. So Eric, when could these workers go on strike? Tez. Well, workers have agreed to go on strike this Thursday. And what a strike would mean is that HSR buses across the city, including the ones that file through the McNabb Transit Terminal here behind me and service hundreds of people every day, well, they would stop running in the event of a strike. Now, it comes after members rejected the city's latest offer yesterday. Uh, they gave the mandate very early on in the talks. Uh, they wanted uh, a wage increase that kept pace with inflation and was reflective of the market we're living in. The Amalgamated Transit Union Local 107 says its members voted 94% to reject HSR's last offer, which is a four-year contract which would see a 3.7% wage increase in year one, retroactive to January 1st, and then a 3% increase in each of 2024, 2025 and 2026. The city's offer to the ATU Local 107 would mean that Hamilton Transit operators uh, would earn approximately um, 79000 almost $80,000 uh, in the final year of their agreement. Union President Eric Tuck says workers deserve more. We've asked for wage increases of about 4% and a market adjustment, similar to the raise that they gave the non-union staff. We have about 1,100 non-union staff who are earning between $120,000 and $160,000 a year. Tuck also pointed to nearby transit agencies such as in Brampton and Mississauga who are paid more. But the city points to a higher cost of living in those areas. The cost of living um, in those two uh, cities particularly is, a, is higher than the cost of living in, in Hamilton. Now, in the event of a strike, all HSR buses across the city would stop running. It's a service that many rely on. If they go on strike, I genuinely have no way of getting to classes or school. We get the bus everywhere, so we don't drive on a car or drive. Well, if there's always an Uber, I guess there's always a taxi, but I mean, then you're starting to spend the big bucks. I can't afford a cab. I mean, it's hard enough to afford the, these people, the buses nowadays. Would not be able to get to work or home from work. I'd be forced to take uh, other transit, which would cost me way more money. The city, along with McMaster University and the Hamilton Catholic School Board, are urging people to plan for other alternative transportation options. DART services will not be affected by a strike. The city says it is working on ways to make other forms of transportation more accessible in the event of a strike, but has no plan yet. We will work with our various departments and divisions and, and with our partners in seeing what can be done at this point in time. That hasn't been confirmed, but I know that staff are working towards finding solutions and, and ways of making this easier on the community. Now, talks are set to resume tomorrow under pressure of the Grey Cup Festival, which is happening next week, which is expected to see thousands of people in the city. Back to you.